Hello everybody. Um, last week I made a video about um, how to duplicate dangers with the Meta T500 scanner. This is just part of my protocol for complete dangers. And um, since a lot of people were asking me about like what was the workflow and how do you merge the inside and outside part of the danger, I'm gonna do a short video um, showing how to do it. This is the T500 scanner right there. And um, it's a really affordable scanner. It's a lab scanner. It's a benchtop scanner. And uh, basically, uh, what you get out of this, if you're doing complete dangerous the functionality, is the automatization of the process because you know you don't have to be rotating a scanner around the danger to duplicate it. So I have here. Um, this is a printed danger that I have um, of one of my patients. This is a trying, of course. I'm just um, doing a trying and now what I want to do is duplicate this one and also the lower one to um, mollify teeth a little bit. So this um, I'm going to mollify um, slightly the teeth and then I'm going to make the finals. So what we do basically um, right now I'm on the denture in the denture module, um, denture replica module. Um, you will see right here I'm going to go back to the software is called Cold Lab, and uh, this is the module. So you basically select Replica Danger, select the two of them, patient name, and then scan. So it opens this window, and now you can see like how the software is going to guide you through the whole process of how to um, duplicate the danger. So um, if you see right here, um, what I'm going to do is to put these um, attachment that has the lower danger and I'm just going to tell the software I'm going to scan the lower hopefully you guys can see it from there alright so I'm going to scan the lower outside you just follow the the guide um, protocol here, uh, you see the little drawing, you just follow the instructions, click next, and then it opens this window. This window is basically asking you like what is the upper and lower limit, so of course I want to scan the whole danger, then I go to the front, left, and right, make sure that I have the whole, the whole danger covered in the scanning area, this is the scanning area right here. So after that is done, I confirmed, and then you will see the scanner in action. And this is the neat thing about this because you know if you're running a lab or a practice that is going to be doing this, like you know I don't have to monkey around with the intro to the scanner, scanning the uh, you know the the outside of it and the inside of it. If you already have an intro scanner, you know how to how painful this process can be if it is not good enough. Um, stitching sometimes is a problem, especially in the inside part of it. So, um, you know, it, there is always going to be a place in my mind for these scanners. So, outside part of the danger is done right here. Of course, you will have some noise that you want to get rid of. Um, if there is any part of the danger that you would like to re-scan, um, you just add a scan and that's pretty much it. Now in order to get rid of these noise, what you need to do is to go to edit mode. In edit mode you will have a lasso or a square tool. And then um, what I usually do, I just really carefully select the danger all the way across this is the only um, part of the scanning process that is not automated so I'm just going to select the danger we're gonna have the inside part of the danger later so it's gotta repeat this process twice in my case it's gonna be for the upper and the lower now that you have the danger selected I just click crop and it will get rid of the noise. See, it's really easy. Um, if you have some more noise here, 
then you select include everything you can there and then delete so super easy very automated there's a little piece right here then delete so just a few clicks is is very it's very nice this is something that um some more companies don't have even though they seem to be experts in this arena so now that we have this i'm going to um scan the inside part of the danger so i'm going to come this way really quickly just flip it this is going to be an over danger this is a case that um that I got referred is um, a three implant over danger patient is not satisfied with the with the danger is actually a really picky patient but um you know so we're doing a couple of trying so now same process I just put that in there I select the inside danger option now you have this figure right here and just follow the instructions just click next same deal make sure you have the whole danger included this is kind of close so I'm going to bring it down just here and I will click confirm and then one more time magic happens automated easy you can see um, on the screen how the scan is generated it's going to rotate that in 360 degrees scanning the whole thing takes a couple of seconds so again I dare anybody with an intro scanner to scan these fast it's impossible so again I want to edit these and I'm going to select the danger real quick this is the scanner that we're also using it has a great resolution as a benchtop scanner you know we're talking microns here so this is a complete 100% a replica of what we have now crop there you go some more noise right here you just got to turn it a couple of times to make sure you get rid of the all the noise Okay. Good deal. I almost got the whole danger here. It's unbelievable. All right. So this is looking good. Maybe a little bit right there. Okay, so now I'm going to um, scan the upper one, save some time here, and now we show you how to merge it. Alright, so now I have the upper danger scanned. This is the outside, and I have the inside as well. We're going to do the next step now, which is the alignment. Um, again, it's pretty easy. I also have the bite, by the way. That I didn't show now the software is going to open this window this window what you really want to do and um, software has an artificial intelligence to align similar objects if you will so it's just a matter of selecting one point on the um, this is actually the inside and one point of the outside then you will see right here how things 
basically a line um, that's what you get right there so you get an alignment is basically is perfect you can see how the blue aligns with the um, with the yellow and now from there you do the same thing for the lower this one is already aligned sometimes the software again it just recognizes the best fit and um, it's done so I click, I click next and now again I have um, a byte record here so I'm just going to align the upper one to the byte done easy next and that one is aligned already so at this point what you really want to do is just to um, follow the instructions on the screen this is the alignment right there it looks okay to me I use a ru some rubber bands to keep them in place with the byte record that's why you see all these stuff right here so another thing I want to show is that after you duplicate things um, every now and then you end up with a little defect saying like you can see the mesh here is open um, not a big deal to be honest because I'm just going to use this as a pre-op in my software to be able to modify what I need to modify and then make the final but um, in some instances you want to actually close this uh, some people have to export it and re-import in softwares like uh, Mesh Mixer to be able to repair them but um, this software has a really neat function here which is uh, fill holes so um, you can basically select the hole right here there's an option to select the holes and then just click fill and there you go it's really hard to see but everything here in red is already filled you just uh, confirm that you do want to fill the hole and that's it that's pretty much the whole process so I hope you guys enjoyed it.